Hello Kules, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with this huge report claiming that Xavi wants Barcelona to sign Lionel Messi on a free transfer when his contract expires at PSG in 2023. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead then secondly talking about new signing robert lewandowski who have been talking about barcelona's season to come of course talking about the mental strength of the team he said we have a winning mentality even in training we are going to be discussing on what lewandowski had to say about that so guys as we get right into those stories in more detail please do ensure to subscribe turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever i post a video Give the video a like and also make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. In a bombshell report published by Dario Sport tonight, it appears Xavi has requested Barcelona to bring back none other than Lionel Messi next summer. The Barca head coach believes the return of Messi is a key to the club's success in the years to come, both from a sporting and a financial perspective. Xavi shares a close relationship with Messi, having shared a pitch together for a chunk of his professional career. He believes the Argentine has the quality to further improve Barcelona and has thus asked the club to study the possibility of signing him on a free transfer in 2023. That is when Messi's contract with PSG comes to an end, potentially paving the way for Barca to sanction his return on a free transfer. Xavi believes the forward can financially help the club due to its global image which will further enhance the Barca brand. Further, welcoming him back to the Camp Nou could help Barcelona reconcile with the Uja prodigal son who had to leave the club abruptly due to the club's financial situation. Wow, interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, this report came as a shocker, of course. Most of us were not expecting or, you know, seeing this happening. But from the look of things, Xavi still wants his old friend and legend, Lionel Messi, to the club. Messi signed the two-year contract with Paris Saint-Germain, we quite remember. And, of course, it will expire next year, 2023. We have been getting reports of Paris Saint-Germain trying to extend his contract, but Messi has not made any statement on that. So Barcelona are strongly considering resigning their legend, or let me say their prodigal son, after a request by manager Xavi yesterday. So let's see if Messi will really be keen to return. But if you ask me, definitely I will say yes. I think he would like to return. There is no club in the world that Messi loves like FC Barcelona. We saw the way he cried. He cried sorrowfully when he was leaving. His last day at the Camp Nou. And of course, even as fans have been pointing fingers at Laporta and the board for not giving Messi that, that farewell or blaming Laporta that he could have kept Messi despite everything. But from the look of things, that was not the case. Laporta have just been the scapegoat because everything lies on the former president, Joseph Maria Bartomeu. Yesterday, I did spoke about the report of Laporta trying to say he owes Messi an apology and he thinks that he still feels indebted to Lionel Messi. So let's see how it goes if Xavi will get his request because I think if Messi does not sign a new contract with Paris which expires next year 2023 he might just consider returning to play or to end his chapter in football with his loving and he must his best club in the world in FC Barcelona but of course I know there must be concerns over maybe he will come and those players who have been settled might be you know maybe disgruntled because Messi coming some players will not have their game time that they thought they will have next season but Xavi's reason is clear you know his point is clear he wants that global brand Messi have that global brand coming to Barcelona sponsorship deals and many other things because I don't think many of us know how much Barcelona have lost since Messi left the Camp Nou Messi brought a lot of sponsors. Messi's brand alone helped Barcelona financially. Not only Messi alone, but it helped the club as a whole. You know, but normally the fact that we were in deep financial mess, it was impossible for Laporta to keep the player. And of course, his contract expired and there was no way to resign it back. Um, players were asked to, you know, some veterans were asked to take a pay cut, but they, 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 they opted against that. Piquet opted against that. Many of them opted against that. So... 
Xavi wants that for a reason because he wants that club, he wants the global brand from Messi to help the club to higher height. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona continued their brilliant start to the new season with a 1-0 victory over Akraivas Real Madrid in a pre-season El Clasico in Las Vegas. The special game witnessed the unofficial debut of Barcelona's marquee signing Robert Lewandowski, who featured in the first half before being taken off in favor of a move for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Speaking about his performance after the game, Lewandowski admitted his joy of playing for Barcelona and says he is looking forward to the next match. He said, My debut with Barcelona, although it was a friendly, El Clasico is El Clasico and it's always different and special and we are very happy with the quality and the intensity we showed, he said. We are looking forward to the next game, the next training session because we feel that something good is coming. Lewandowski went on to voice his satisfaction after training with his new Barcelona teammates for almost 10 days. He said, I'm very happy to be here. I don't feel like I've been with the team for days. I, it feels like I've been here for months. I feel very supported by my teammates and the staff, he said. The Polish star held Barcelona's winning mentality and believed it could drive them one on for the season ahead, potentially helping the club reach its obje objective in the 2022-23 campaign, he said. At Barca, we always think about winning. We have a very winning mentality, not only in matches but also in training sessions. We have the opportunity to look ahead and think that this can be a great season ahead for us. Barcelona are set to continue their pre-season tour in the United States throughout the month and are slated to face Juventus in their next friendly. With Lewandowski among the players hoping to make a big impact and possibly score his first unofficial goal for his new club. I can't express the joy that I have and I know the joy you guys have in your hearts seeing the way this team is forming, seeing the way Laporta is bringing Barcelona back to the way it was with quality players, depth in the squad, I mean and of course you can hear from Lewandowski's words he is so optimistic about the upcoming season he's so happy with joining Barcelona I mean he sees the winning mentality which definitely we all can see a winning mentality not just from the new players from the old players as well from the manager Xavi Hernandez who is trying to bring back this team to the glory days of course we won 1-0 against Real Madrid that was a statement victory even though the game was a friendly game but come on as Lewandowski said, El Clasico remains El Clasico. Winning El Clasico, you know, it's already a big, big boost. Winning El Clasico is pride in itself. We can even see the game was not like a friendly game. You see the new um, how the fight tension. You get you see the heat as if it was a competitive game. The fighting between the two clubs that day, you know, you saw Rudiger fighting with Araujo and many other tensions in that game. And you ask yourself, is this really a friendly? No, it's not just a friendly. It's an El Clasico because there's always that heat between those two clubs. So next season is a season that we, honestly speaking, a season that me and I know all of you guys as Barca fans, we are waiting next season with high optimism, high expectations. Um, Jules Kounde signing is soon to be announced. And that's a very good reason for us to celebrate because this summer is the best summer for a long time. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.